the great mystery of life and creation conceptually. And you couldn't, even if you lived on Earth for a thousand years. A billion expressions of the One have you already met by now. And you, being one of them, you have experienced getting in and out the state of joy that alignment with the One offers to your human experience. This is truly a wonderful and joyful world to live in, despite the hardships, for every human experience can get rid of the mental constructs and consciously remain at the state of joy in oneness during this our earthly life. Let us tune with this. I wake up in the morning. I pray to Spirit, the primary source of creation, and ask to be given confidence in entering the field of joy. Great mystery, creator, creatrix of all that is, I consciously meet you within my triadic being whenever I move from thoughts and memories to presence. I experience your offerings to humans when I remain consciously human, connected to the rest of humans and all nature through the invisible network of your life force. I accept life on earth as it is with all its conditions Therefore, I move from the visible and the mental to the indescribable. Movement of thoughts ceases and I meet elements of your essence that reside in my earthly experience. I meet your gift there. I meet true joy there. Joy as a state of being, joy as a permanent inner thoughtlessness, joy that is opportunity, always existing, already there when thoughts are absent. I meet the joy of having been offered life as a soul experience. I meet joy of the heart space, contentment, hope and faith in you. And so, I ask from you to kindly meet me there. Midday comes. I'm going back to practicing awareness to the here and now. I keep my eyes open and see. Watch incoming thoughts and let them come and go eyes wide open, the touch between my body and the space, entering sounds, I sing a little bit of my favorite song to bring awareness to the bodily sensations and forbid entrance of thoughts. There is a being, the soul, observing the process of evacuation of thoughts. The vehicle gets empty from the never-ending stories, unnecessary stories at this point, at each moment, repetitive, unnecessary thoughts. Void. And there it is, the observer, a silent sensation of life force in stillness, as if connected to the walls of the room I wear, to the furniture around me, to the light of the candle. Joyful. Who wants to be elsewhere? Do anything, anything else apart from that. Eyes closed, eyes open again. The walls around me, the bed, the candle, my arms touching the body, 
inner feeling of my bones, the breath. Who wants to be elsewhere? Do anything else apart from this nothing, from this stillness, this meaningless state of presence. Joy arises, nowhere to go, nothing to find, nothing to achieve. Just remove uselessness of thoughts. You will allow thoughts to get in later, don't worry. But now, for the time being, keep the vessel empty. Joy arises. It was already there. The natural contentment of each moment, no exceptions. Joy as an inner, everlasting, non-emotional or conditioned state. Joy as the natural place from where you came on earth. In the afternoon I see the myth. I come back to my mental space. I have not avoided building doubts. There are the enlightened ones, after all, I know that. Depictions of smiling masters in a state of blissful joy, monks or weird practitioners that claim having reached this or that state after going those stages of whatever path. The 22 signs that I am experiencing a spiritual awakening, I have a checklist, not ticked yet, but still, I'm not smiling. Anger is all there is. Where is this supposed joy? Maybe it is only for the monks, the ascetics, the Buddhas, the flying yogis, the weird locals that walk around barefoot in the Andes. I would never reach such a state. I get frustrated. No joy here cannot be. I was supposed to be more intuitive, seeing into people, be more compassionate, speaking with animals and plants, with ancestors and spirits. I have followed all the necessary steps, taken seminars, joined retreats and changed my lifestyle into a more spiritual one. I want my enlightenment, my joy. Breathe in and out. Your whole human life is now revealed as an awakening path all the way through from the very first minute of this earthly life. Nothing in your human life, not even a drop of water that you once drunk, was by accident. And this is so for everybody. The only process that can be the awakening is life itself as an awakening process. No ending though. No recipes. Not awakened ones. I only see awakened ones relative to my state of awakening. I can only compare with me. And so I name them awakened, enlightened. It is a collective trauma, after all. A target to which? Because they seem supernaturally different. They seem something comparing to the rest. But to them, themselves, they know that they are nothing. They are far from being called enlightened. They are nothing. They are zero, they have become zero, and they smile, thanks to the zeroness. Humbled by being zero, by the non-self, they never said that this was their own privilege. They never ceased to repeat, each human experience can consciously stay in the state of oneness, where life is revealed as subtle, light, unburdened, smiley till the end. E 
ego death, non-identification with thoughts. Thoughts try to come in, you observe them, let them out. The daily life goes on, thoughts stay more and more out, void and joy. Joy was already there. The evening embraces me. Oh, I'll give myself an example. My place is remote, closed up on the mountains, roofed by a low sky that stands heavy on my shoulders day and night. We have no rivers, no wells, no springs, only a few cisterns, almost empty, and we worship them to get life out of them. The same is with people, loves, bodies and loneliness. It seems strange to us that we were once able to build houses here at this point on earth. Life does not treat us well, financially devastated, illnesses, death of a loved one, growing old to be stuck on the bed. But our weddings, the breaths and the fingers touching the soil how were our children born? How were they raised in this wilderness? Under the sun, we see our lives illuminated. Broken woods from unfinished journeys. We contemplate our lives and find them perfect. Under the sun, we find our lives complete. Never would we exchange the stillness of our lives, the stillness of our place, with the moment of enlightenment. At night, I stay still and pray in stillness heart prayer to the one for all human beings to consciously return to our natural joyful state of children to the origins of life by unburdening our lives and there we meet there we all come together dear diary Good night.